so I just want to mention something to you guys. But I noticed this and I, I talked to God about it already. And I talked to someone about it today too. And I had to mention it to them too because, you know, I actually remembered when I mentioned it to them that I even had this conversation with God. Um, but, you know, some of you guys, you know, you've been, yes, you've been attacked your whole life, you know, with witchcraft, warfare and everything. But the thing about it is when you were attacked in the past, it's almost like you felt it, but not to the extent of how you feel it now. It's like you go through the same things you went through in the past, like similar things, but it's not as harsh as now. You get what I'm saying? Like, it, like the way you felt in the past was not as harsh as now. And a part of that is because before you may not have been walking with Christ wholeheartedly or you weren't walking with Christ at all. Which means you were not receptive to receiving, you know, the anointing. Or you may not have been receptive to hearing him or seeing him or feeling him like the way you are now. Right? So, because you were not as receptive, you did not have access to certain gifts. It's almost like you were not able to be as sensitive in spirit as you are now. Because you were not as receptive back then. So, because now you're more sensitive in spirit, you're more receptive to feeling Christ, hearing him. You're more receptive to visions and dreams because your walk with him is authentic. Your walk with him is pure. You are now sensitive in the spirit. So, you're feeling every single thing good and bad because you're extremely sensitive in the spirit. When you accept the call and you accept walking with Christ and you accept him wholeheartedly and I'm not talking about a mental relationship or religious relationship I'm talking about an emotional spiritual personal connection with God with the Holy Spirit you are going to be so sensitive in spirit you're going to feel everything and it's almost like going to a spa and getting a facial and you're, you're, the, the person at the spa says do not put anything on your face for a couple of hours because your skin is extremely sensitive and let's just say you did it you're gonna feel every tingle and you're more open now walking with christ you're more more open and i'm talking about spiritually so this the same attacks are attacking you now that was attacking you your whole life but your whole life you were not you were unable to notice it as much you knew something was wrong but it's almost like you didn't feel it the way you feel it now it feels like it's been turned up and yes it could have been it could be turned up and that happens when you start wholeheartedly walking with god yeah they do turn up the attacks they do the devil does attack more but a lot of what you guys are feeling you've been feeling your whole life but you just were not feeling it you are not as sensitive in the spirit to wholeheartedly feel it that's what it is you are not as sensitive in the spirit right when you're sensitive in the spirit you're open you're open to feeling anything, you know? And also remember this too, that the people that were up against you guys in the past, you saw a lot of true colors in the past. Like you saw people's true motives towards you, feelings towards you, everything like that. But notice that as soon as you start walking with God, it's almost like their demons have been fully unleashed. The Jezebel within them has fully, has been fully unleashed. Before, they would treat you certain ways. They would mock you, do certain things, but they were kind of sly with it. They were kind of sneaky with it. They were low-key with it. But then walking with Christ triggered, you walking with Christ now triggered their demons so much, it's been unleashed. So now, yes, the attacks will feel a lot more heavier now because not only are you sensitive in spirit, you're feeling everything, but... Your walk has now unleashed some hidden demons. Your walk has now unleashed the Jezebel spirit that was in people that was hiding out in people. Because the devil hates anyone that chooses to walk with Christ, that is wholeheartedly loving Christ. You notice that's why most people who don't have that personal relationship with God, I would say more like a religious mindset. 
you don't see them getting attacked as much. And they use that to their advantage to gaslight those who do get attacked. And they say, oh, you're getting attacked because you have doors open. Or you're getting attacked because you're not walking with God. Or you're getting attacked because you're doing something wrong. So that's their, their, their excuse. That's their defense mechanism. Right? But in all actual reality... When you have a personal relationship with God and you are open and receptive to the Holy Spirit, you're going to be open and receptive to the attacks that come in because you're open, you're sensitive, right? But the attacks will never take you out because God is covering you, one, and he'll only put you through what you can handle, two, but also you are being trained while being sensitive in the spirit you are being trained now as well you are being trained anyone that is wholeheartedly following christ as in you feel in the holy spirit he's in your heart he has a relationship with you the devil not gonna like you you're gonna you're gonna be a target instantly and like i said to you guys you were already targets from when you were younger because the devil already knew that you were god was gonna use you that's why they try to make y'all afraid of embracing the gifts that God has given you. They try to make y'all be afraid of embracing it because if you actually start embracing the gifts God gives you and you're not afraid of it no more and you're like, God, I'm ready to operate through my gifts. I'm ready to be able to prophesy. I'm ready to see in the spirit. I'm ready to discern. I'm ready to distinguish the difference between spirits. I'm ready to heal people. When you start saying, God, I'm ready and you wholeheartedly are receptive, right? They instantly see you as a threat. And this is why they demonize, they try to demonize your gifts. It's, they say that if you have the gifts to see in the spirit, or if you have the gift to hear good and bad, oh child, you, you the devil, you have demons in you. When all actual reality, if God did not intend for you to hear good and bad, then the gift of distinguishing between spirits would not have even been a gift. Y'all ain't ready for that. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready for that. The gift of distinguishing spirits would not have even been a gift if there wasn't anything to be distinguished in the first place. You know, so if, if y'all wondering why things have been turned up a notch, most of y'all, the way how you're feeling, fighting through the warfare, you've been feeling this way your whole life, but you were unable to feel it because you were not as sensitive in the spirit. When you are sensitive in the spirit, you are fully walking in the spirit, even while being in the physical. Do you know that, right? You don't, you don't have to be sleeping to walk in the spirit. There's people who are walking in spirit, moving around, sorry, walking in the physical. They're not sleeping and they can prophesy. They can see in the spirit while they're walking in a grocery store. They can see in the spirit because they're sensitive. They're receptive to the Holy Spirit. They're open. The door is open. They're receptive. They're sensitive. Once you love God wholeheartedly and he gives you that access, and you're sensitive in spirit, it's like the door is always open for you to see, to feel, to receive. That's why some of you guys are like, man, can I turn this off? Can I, can, God, can I get a break? Can I turn it? Let me tell you when I got a break from my gifts. God gave me a break when I got the flu. <laughs> I'm like, God, I can feel a little bit of warfare. You know, I'm a little bit miserable right now. You know what I mean? And I was feeling a little bit miserable and I was going through a little bit of warfare before I got the flu. And when I got the flu, I was the most peaceful. I've been a long time while I had the flu. I'm like, God, why am I so peaceful right now and I have the flu? Why do I have all this energy right now and I have the flu? I have more energy having the flu than I had before I got the flu. What's going on here? But what it was, was God didn't want me to be training in my, through my, in my gifts while I was sick. He didn't want me to go through no warfare while I was sick. He, it's like that was when he actually gave me a break. And then once I recovered, then he allowed me to go back into the training process again. You see? I don't know what's going on here, right? But um, yeah, guys, so 
yeah so once i started to recover from the flu it was like i went back into the war again you know it was like i went back into the war again but have y'all ever had had some holy wine holy spirit wine let me tell you something let me give let me put y'all on so the holy spirit wine feels nice okay so it's let me tell you what the holy spirit wine is it's when the devil is trying to attack you or when someone is doing some heavy witchcraft on you and the witchcraft they're doing on you is powerful is strong but guess what the holy spirit actually comes through and he puts a shield on you while they're doing this attack so you'll know because it's like you'll feel the warfare but at the same time you're feeling god overpowering it right and it's almost like you're on cloud nine. It's almost like you're floating and you're laughing, you're giggly. And it's, it, I'm going to be honest, it almost feels like you had too much wine, but you're in a happy mood. You had too much wine, but you're in a happy mood. They call that drunk on the, people say it's called drunk on the Holy Spirit or drunk on the Holy Wine or something like that, like Holy Wine or something like that. But it's almost like you have so much energy and you're fl floating on cloud nine and you're like unstoppable. You have all this energy and no matter how much they try to attack you it's almost like you're like whoa this feels like you know it's like i can't explain it i cannot explain it i can't explain it but i noticed that when they would send like the heavy heavy attacks the like the heavy attacks i noticed i would feel the holy spirit come and i would start feeling so light and i'll start feel like i'm floating and i would feel like i'm so at peace but i'll have all this energy and then i'll literally be like my eyes would be like wide open and i'm like hyper like talking to people like hey guys oh my gosh oh my gosh yes and i'm engaging with people my eyes are opening and like i'm very animated and i feel like good right like how i feel right now and that's like the holy wine that's when the holy spirit comes through and he puts a shield on you so whatever they're doing to you you don't feel it you just feel like goodness right and it almost feels like you're you're you had too much wine and you're just having a good time. That's the that's when the shield is is fully on you. That when you f ever you feel that and it comes in random. It comes in very random. When you notice like okay you're feeling normal one day, you know a little worthy here and there, but you feel normal one day. But then the next day you're like whoa God I feel so good. Oh my gosh this is amazing. I love the way I feel right now. I can't stop talking. I can't stop smiling. I can't stop giggling. Oh my God I'm actually so sick. God this is amazing. Oh my God I'm going to go run a marathon. I'm going to go to the gym. Da -da 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 -da. You feel like you can do anything. That means that that when you feel that that means that there was a heavy attack and God is, is covering you. It's covering you. And I felt that so many times. I wish I could go into I, I should do a story time for y'all. Not today though. I'm tired. But um I can't tell you when I went through my attacks in 2016 where they almost killed me, there was a bunch of times where I would feel the attack and then all of a sudden I would feel this lightness come over my body. And I would start feeling like I'm floating and I'll start being hyper and happy. And it was almost like every time I felt this happiness come in, the person that was involved in the attacks would get upset when they would see me like that it's so crazy and you know what the crazy thing is is like i didn't really notice all this until later on as i started to heal and then god will start bringing the revelations to me and when he brings revelations man it's almost like you go back and you reopen up that puzzle box and you start putting the pieces together again until you see the bigger picture and you're like oh my gosh i remember this i remember this moment okay i'm connecting the dots you know so it's almost like it's almost like you're getting that revelation you know and that's why god allows us to go through certain things because it's to train us it's for us to have wisdom so we can we can help other children of God because I'm telling you right now there's a generation coming up after us that's going to need these need teachings that's going to need um teachings and that's going to need lessons on warfare and that's what he's doing with a lot of us right now you know what I mean some of y'all have grandkids who you need to start talking to about this stuff some of y'all have kids you see what I'm saying so he's he's preparing us he's preparing us it's no secret no more it's no secret no more like we're able to see the hidden things now so it's almost like we're not supposed to you know let this go to vain like we're supposed to really really openly wholeheartedly accept the walk and be willing to learn be willing to train so we can be able to help people but i just want to say that anyways love you guys bye